Well, I was really just going to play one or two tunes. Anything anybody wants to hear? Is there a request or otherwise I'll play what I've been practicing all day? <laughs> if I could remember what it is. <laughs> um, no, I thought I'd play one of my tunes, and then I thought in the spirit of uh, works under construction, I will attempt the one that has been badgering me for 20 years, and you can hear, you can hear the whole thing. That one's, uh, some of you might know it, it's called Sleight of Hand. Um, it was just, I, was, I kind of was picturing, um, what's that game, like out the three-card Monty type uh, scam that you see people, people doing. So, um, so I, uh, I'm going to try to run through here this piece that I've been, again, wrestling with for 20 years. And every time I wrestle with it, about three or four minutes into it, my hand wants to leave the room. And, and get into a bucket of ice. But uh, we'll see how it comes out. So this is a piece that, by Scott, Scott Joplin called Bethina that is um, ragtime stuff. Classic ragtime is very, um, really, the, the forms are very regular. You usually have four sections that are 16 measures long. You play the first one twice. You play the second one twice. You bring the first one back in. Play a third one that's usually in a different key, and then usually in the key of the fourth or something. And then you come back and play the fifth one, or the fourth part, you know, and you're, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with stuff like The Entertainer. That's, that's a classic example of a, of a ragtime piece. It has a little interlude, of course. Uh. Little part that happens kind of like in the middle that sort of brings you back to the original key. Um, Bethina was one of his later pieces that was uh, in f there's five parts in five different keys. You've heard me tell most of this story before, and all of these, and many of these keys are not guitar friendly. There's some in B flat or B minor, then in F, and then anyway. Oh yeah, the second part's in B flat. So we have G, B flat, F, B 
minor, and then D, I guess. And each one has a really uh, abstract transition that changes keys. So let's see how Bethina goes tonight. Usually I stop in the middle of this and tell a story because I need the break, which is what I did like four years ago the last time you heard me play this. All right. Yeah, let's get those harmonics better.
another 15 years, I'm going to nail that sucker. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Max was talking a while ago about some of the differences with playing the guitar and playing the piano. And on the piano, you can hit the wrong note. You can't make the same note sound like 75 different things like you can on the guitar. And uh, that's what happens in, in uh, you know, trying to get tone and stuff out of there. But it's always a fun adventure. So uh, I think that's it for now. We'll get on to the evening show.